Do not buy a scuba mask until you watch this video. In today's video, this is the definitive guide for buying your next scuba mask. I'm gonna go through the different types of scuba masks, how to pick one that fits you, and all things related to scuba masks. All right, so as you can see, there's many different types of scuba masks. I took a few off our shelf. Let's go through some of the obvious examples. You have the skirting, which can be transparent, or it can be dark. The advantage of dark is over time, the color will not fade, and if you get a lot of runny noses and grossness in your nose, a lot of people don't like a clear mask because they can see their boogies. Uh, for me, I don't like personally a clear mask because I find my vision isn't focused enough. I find too much light coming in from everywhere and I don't feel comfortable. So I personally prefer a dark mask. Some people feel too claustrophobic with a dark mask, so they use a clear mask. Uh, with a clear mask, you should know that even the best quality silicone over years will turn yellow from UV radiation. But please, uh, if this is what makes you comfortable, then invest in that. That shouldn't stop you from getting it because it'll just show people that you have experience anyways. Okay, now there's a few types of masks here. As you can see, these are single lens masks. The advantage of these is that you can change these lenses if you have prescription power. Also, with this bridge here, and uh, it provides a strong frame, so it's a stronger mask. So if you're worried that your kid's gonna break this or just throw it in their bag, or if you personally don't wanna baby this thing, you might wanna consider this. The next is a mono lens or a single, like uh, open lens, no frame. Uh, this is what I personally use. I don't like seeing that. I'm quite sensitive to that line between my eyes. So I like it open like this. Okay, uh, this gives you a better field of view and I personally find it more comfortable. Uh, as you can see, this glass is see-through. This glass is reflective. If you are a student or an instructor, or a nervous diver or you're diving with a nervous diver, I'd never recommend a reflective mask because underwater, the best way to communicate without any, you know, without being able to smile or hint towards anything is through your eyes. You can tell if someone's comfortable, if they're freaking out, if they're happy to be with you through their eyes. So if you're starting out or you're diving with a, a diver that's not comfortable, don't get reflective. Get more see-through masks. Okay, as you can see, this mask here has a frame. The skirt and the glass are built into this frame. The frame is what kind of holds the structure of the mask together. This is called a frameless mask because it is just a piece of silicon that's wrapped around this glass. So if you yanked it off, you would just have a flimsy piece of silicon and just a single piece of glass. So it's a very simple build. And why I like that is because you could just bend it in, takes up no space, you can stuff it into your BCD pocket and it's, uh, it's built to just take a beating like that. I love these. Something else to remember is with masks, the inside of them have different air volumes. So this mask is considered a very low profile, meaning there's less air inside. So it takes less air to clear out that water, but it doesn't fit every face because some people's nose or uh, the forehead is protruding too far and you can't wear these masks underwater. Soon we'll go through the three ways to pick the perfect mask that fits for you. So after you've gone through those considerations, uh, you know, the next step is to understand after you've gone through, do I like a clear mask or a dark mask, single frame, uh, or, you know, uh, individual lenses, then you go to picking out the mask in that category. 
So there's three ways that you can properly pick a mask that you know will fit you. And I would say 90% of dive centers never even check this. They say, oh, you like this color? You like this brand? You like this price? There you go. Uh, we don't do that. We want to make sure that you are happy with your mask because we get a lot of people that come saying, hey, last week I went on a dive trip. I bought this mask. It was crap. They didn't test it. So we then end up getting them a new mask that properly fits them. Okay, so number one, you want to check the seal. When you check the seal, you're gonna put it against your forehead and I want you to inhale with your nose and you don't put the strap on your head. We're just checking under pressure, under suction, does this sit on your face? So let's test it out. Okay, so this fits beautifully so far. All right, if you have facial hair, that can affect the seal. So either shave it away or put Vaseline or just dive with a leaky mask. But what I found that worked for me is that I wear mine lower. Instead of under my nose, I bring it down lower and it actually sits right on my lip here. And when it sits on my lip, it actually bypasses all this facial hair and it creates quite a good seal. So I hope that tip helps you. Now, the next thing you want to do is when it's on your face, you want to take your pinchers and you want to pinch your nose and see if equalized. Because sometimes your nose can get lost in this nose pocket and you won't be able to get your nose. Okay, so just make sure that you can pinch your nose, grab your nose and equalize. All right. Now, the last step is when you go down underwater, Pressure gets greater, and this is an air pocket, okay? And pressure is going to compress, and it's going it's going to increase, and the air is going to compress, so it's going to squeeze against your face. Okay, to release that pressure, just exhale with your nose, but you have to know that under pressure, if it's pressing against you, is it uncomfortable or painful? So put it on your face, take the palm of your hand in the center of the mass, and press in with some pressure. If you just feel the silicon getting squished, you're fine. But if you feel the ridge right here or the mass bumping against the glass bumping against your forehead, this mask is not for you. Unfortunately, the first two tests you passed, but if you pass this last test, you will not be comfortable with this mask. It's time to look for the next one. When you get a new mask, you will have a mask that is prone to fogging because during the manufacturing process and when you're trying it on, you're getting fingers all over it and it will fog up. So make sure you watch our video on defogging a mask. But the best thing to do is to burn it with a cigar torch, burn away those oils, wash it with soap, and then it's good to go. If you buy it with us, we will help you season the mask beforehand. For added comfort, you can add a mask strap. If you have longer hair, even I have some longer hair, and this will replace the silicon strap here because the silicon will get caught up and knotted up in your hair, but this neoprene will slide right on and off. So I highly recommend this for people with longer hair. Let's go over quickly how a mask works because so many people get this wrong, okay? The strap, is not what keeps water out of your mask. A lot of beginners or people who don't know this yet just think, great, let me just crank this down harder and I will not leak anymore. But the thing is, is that it will still leak. You'll have a terrible headache. You'll have an indentation on your face for hours, even up to a day, and it's highly not recommended. So what I recommend you do is remember this. Your strap is just there to keep the mask on your face from accidentally falling off. In case it gets hit, or if you exhale with your nose, or it gets bumped with bubbles or whatever. It's just a safety that keeps it from flying away. But what keeps it on is the good seal, okay? Good seal on your face and that negative pressure that's holding it to your face. Okay, so what I recommend is 
get it properly fitted. Make sure that this thing is like glue on your face and then you won't need to cinch it down. Cause remember, that's not how you keep the water out. Okay. Make sure it fits properly. Make sure it's a good seal and you will have a nice dry mask. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe. It costs you nothing and it takes you one second. Go ahead and do that and we will see you for the next one. Thanks guys.